Hi, I'm Jack from Twinkle, and today we're looking at the story of Romulus and Remus, and some resources to teach this story. Our myth starts with the birth of the as yet unnamed twin boys. Their mother was Rhea Sylvia, the daughter of King Numitor. Their father was Mars, the god of war. King Numitor had a brother, Amulius, who wanted the throne for himself. When Romulus and Remus were born, Amulius ordered a servant to throw the twins into the river Tiber. Instead, the servant placed them in a basket in the river in the hope someone would rescue them. Eventually, a she-wolf rescued the babies and pulled them to safety. The wolf cared for the twins until a shepherd found them, took them home to his wife and named them Romulus and Remus. Many years later, Remus was captured by Amulius, now the king. Romulus freed his brother and killed King Amulius. Instead of becoming kings and taking to the throne themselves, Romulus and Remus set out to found their own city. The twins disagreed about which hill to build the city on. They fought and Romulus killed Remus. With Remus dead, Romulus built his city on Palatine Hill and named it Rome. So, how can we teach and learn this Roman myth? Start with these story cards. Children can put the story in order and retell it. Or you could put these cards in order on display. How about trying this differentiated sequencing activity, separated by reading ability? Or look at different types of fiction writing through the context of Romulus and Remus. Start with this storytelling unit or recount unit packs. Perfect for following up story card or sequencing activities, these units focus on retelling the myth by way of drama to explore the characters, or by writing simple recounts. Recounts, of course, allowing your child to plan and write personal accounts from within the world of this myth. Or take a look at this comprehensive story writing unit. Encompassing seven lessons, it builds on your child's knowledge of retelling a story and task your children with describing setting and characters, writing dialogue, and constructing suspenseful dilemmas and resolutions. For example, remind children of the argument and fights between Romulus and Remus. Why was this dilemma so dramatic? Or try writing some poetry around this context. Write a poem about the she-wolf, drawing ideas from the myth, and focusing on choosing powerful verbs and precise expanded noun phrases. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 channel.